Today we're going to be working on the 2023 Ski-Doo Backcountry 850 again. Um, today we are going to be putting a ski stance adjuster on it. We ordered this right from when we got the sled. They had it ready there for when we picked it up. So we're just going to put that on. Basically we're just going to put this little template tool on here after we take that bolt out. Drill a new hole in the ski. Another bolt's going to go through and then we'll have an adjuster that can go on there and we can just quickly adjust this ski stance on the side of the trail or whatever instead of having to take a bolt out and move bushings. And Put the roller there. Yep. Assume I don't need these anymore, right? No, you don't. Here, I'll pull it up. Yep. Set those aside and I'll save them. Alright, so you got slide the bolt through, put the template on. And I'm just gonna hold it flush. It kind of is curved here and follows the uh, curves of the ski. So I'm just gonna try and hold it as flush as I can with my finger. I have a quarter inch drill bit. I'm gonna drill that through. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it off and put it on the other side. Do the same thing. go. Make sure you put your rubbers back in. Just put some ABCs on that. No, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, that's loose. That's loose, yeah. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> And just put a little bit in. Perfect. Push steel. Look at that, it's a thing of beauty. Do you know how easy these things break? Don't Have you seen anything? No? no? All I've heard is that people say they're a really good thing to buy for these sleds, so. Nice little mod for a crossover anyways. Oh well, yeah, it gives you the <clears throat> If you want to be on the trail and everything you can make it a little wider if you does it still pop up there you go needs to be super tight nice and easy yeah, and slide her over, slide to push the ski over, good to go. I just saw Slide Dog sells that kit too. I think I showed you in the catalog. I can get that for the for the summit over there, and I can get it for my sidewinder. Oh really? Yeah, same kit. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna repeat the same process on this on this side of the slide as well. pretty quick easy install and maybe we'll see if we can tip it on the side here and see how easy it'll be to adjust this like on the trail or whatever but um, I think it's gonna make a huge difference and it'll make a nice uh, a nice quick adjustment that we can do on the side of the trail if we want to be on trail off trail we can make adjustments accordingly and not have to take anything apart 
Back here again, working on the 2023 Backcountry X850. We got ourselves a set of rail mounted ice scratchers we we're gonna put on here. Um, and we're gonna bring you along for the journey, show you how we do it. We're probably just gonna film the one side because all the holes and everything are pre-drilled. We don't have to make any holes, anything like that. It's all there. We literally just need to bolt it on show you the one side the process will be the exact same on the other side um we lifted the back end of the sled up we got it sitting up on a a cart there just because by the time we put this in there and try and get our scratchers on we didn't want to have to try and put the bolts in and bend this up because if you look in here the bolts actually do catch on the spring in there and they do catch on the spring here to retain it to the rail. So it just makes things easier for us and we don't have to try and bend, the, bend this while we're fastening everything, but we'll show you here. Get a little finger tight there. Need to put the spring catch in. <laughs> to wrench that on by hand now. Oh fuck! Got her. So we're just gonna wrench this on by hand, and we'll be back in a minute. All right. So we got our scratchers mounted. We got the little clips that hold it retained when you don't want them down. And pretty simple. Just pick her up. Clip it in there. Stays in there nice, shouldn't fall out. Good to go.